Good morning. So this morning, I would like to talk about winter cleaning. One of the early memories as a child is that of my grandparents washing and cleaning their chinas. Every holiday, they would open those cabinets and there's this glass like it cleans every holiday and never get used, seldom get used. So some of them are actually crystallized and are, are, are rotten, even though they look so beautiful. So once you touch those um, little chinos and little prized glass and possessions, sometimes no matter how careful you are, they still get broken in the process of washing and cleaning and drying just to put them back in their container and never get used. As I think of winter cleaning, my mind goes back to those days, those days where everything is taken out, bottles are washed, soda bottles are washed, sodas are bought, um, which is not healthy. Um, everything is squeaky clean, curtains are changed. Everything's just different because it's the holiday. It made me reflect on our Christian walk and our Christian pathway, where um, there are a lot of things in our lives that need cleaning out. There are a lot of things in my closet. Just recently, two weeks ago, I was looking through my closet and I thought, oh, maybe I should take this one out. Oh, maybe I should take that one out. Be realistic. This one still can't fit you. Because there, there's always these dresses that you hope to get into and with all good intention and past motivation you hope that you will fit into that dress because that dress means so much and it fits you so well but the reality is that two years have passed and you still haven't fit in because ages catch up with you and what normally work doesn't work anymore the truth is you might even lack motivation so our closets are filled with clothing that we've not worn for three four five years and fool ourselves that we will wear them once again it's time to declutter and it's time to get real and it's time to say goodbye to some of those outfits that we'll never fit in again, possibly. And even if we do, we haven't worn them for three years and it's highly unlikely that you'll be wearing them for the next three years. Shoes get dry rot also. Just having them put down as trophies, they get rot. This reminds me of our lifestyle. You see, the story of Jonah tells us one of good intention. While the sailors wanted to be kind and nice to Jonah, the reality was Jonah has become extra unburdened baggage on their cruise ship. And he needed to go overboard because no matter of amount of throwing over of the gold and the valuables that they carry, you have to get to the meat of the matter of what the problem is. Jonah was the problem and he was the dead weight the ship was carrying. Though he wasn't as heavy as the gold and the other um, objects they had, that they've already thrown aboard. Jonah was the problem. Keeping Jonah of life kept storms in their boat. Likewise, we have to come to the point in our spirituality where we do some winter cleaning. Who are the people in our lives? The jobs, the relationships, the friendships, maybe the church. In your life, that's just stagnant. Keep you from growing. It's time to do your winter cleaning. We have four more days to the end of this year. Do not carry the baggages and the things of 2023 into 2024. What's in your relationship with God that's really weighing you down? Is it your job? Is it your academics? What's preventing you from spending quality time with God? Who are the friendships and the relationships that are overwhelming you and keeping you in the wrong compromising situations. God wants to make something new and different of your life in 2024. But the reality is you must leave every sin as Paul puts it, that so easily besets us behind. We must be purpose in our hearts to do our winter cleaning, to open those closet door and to say, this is my problem. And to be willing to showcase it out and allow God to bring change and transformation that's needed. Change is inevitable, but we often resist it. God wants to do something new and something different and interested in your life. 
but you've got to let go the dead weight. The sins that so easily besets us, the weight that's so weighing us down, the guilt. But let us come boldly to the throne of grace, now, today, so we can find mercy in time of need. Let us come boldly to the throne of grace so we can find healing and cleansing so we can end 2023 right and open up new opportunities with Jesus and the Holy Spirit in 2024. Heavenly Father, Father, we cannot do our cleaning by ourselves. Sometimes our eyes are kinky and sometimes we know but we're holding on to unprofitable friendships and relationships and jobs and projects and finances and all the things that's become little idols in our lives that preventing us from serving you as we should. So we ask you, Lord, to have mercy in our lives and to forgive us and cleanse us from our own righteousness. We ask you, God, to have your way and to be merciful to us and help us to hear from you and not only to our own understanding. In all our ways to acknowledge you and knowing, God, that you would direct our path. Cleanse, forgive, energize us, Lord, and save us in your kingdom. In Jesus' name, amen.